Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today I am here to set up my 2024 budget. This is going to be my budget for our household. Um, I have already set up a few other budget schedules, so I definitely recommend checking those out. I have a whole 2024 Humble Beginnings budget planner set up playlist on my channel. Um, so definitely check that out if you're wanting to see all the different steps. Um, so like I mentioned, I am using my own 2024 Humble Beginnings budget planner. This is my very own planner that I created from scratch. It encompasses a lot of the budget techniques and schedules that I've used for many, many years. As of right now, there's still a few budget planners available in my shop. I have a link down below. Um, so definitely check it out if you're interested in picking one up for this year. If not, I do have budget stickers available where you could kind of put together a very similar setup in a different type of planner or notebook. Um, so really quickly before we get into the 2024 budget for our household, I'm going to show you guys what I've set up so far. If any of these look interesting and you want to see like how I set it up and hear a walkthrough of it and like my explanation for certain things, again, check out that playlist. Here I just have my name um, and then we get into all the 2024 schedules. I put together a important dates schedule here where I have a bunch of my sinking funds as well as some paydays and when Illinois has sales taxes due. So just an overview, you can put a lot of different things here. You can put like school schedules, paydays, when certain bills are due. This is just a really good place to have like reminders throughout the year. Then I went into my 2024 goals. So I sat down and with all of these different categories put together some goals for the year. Um, so I feel like I'm in a really good place there. I love how this turned out. It's one of my favorite pages of all the 2024 pages. And then I sat down and put together a budget for my 2024 business budget. Now I have a whole like um, draft of this where I have the numbers filled out. Um, and I will be filling those in later on off camera because I feel like that's not something that I want to share with the internet. But um, if you want to hear like how I went through all of those and talked through the expenses and what has changed over the year and things like that, that's a good place to start. But now we're going to get into setting up our 2024 budget. So I'm going to make it cute because you guys know I am really big into making my budget cute. I feel like it is important for me so that I stay interested in my budget. So I'm gonna use this cute green and white washi up at the top. And I've kind of realized that this is like a hack is to put the sheet like horizontal and that way you can kind of line them up a little bit more rather than them just being all over the place. And then I'm gonna use some thin washi, very similar to how I've always done it in between my income and my expenses and i'm just going to kind of rip it off because i kind of like the whole torn look so this is what we're going to be focusing on this entire um entire time so um in terms of sources of income i'm not going to fill that part in um we do have a couple different sources of income but i don't share those numbers so i'm not going to fill that in just yet then for variable expenses, we're gonna go ahead and just fill in the titles or like the expenses name and then I'll go into what it's going to be. Um, so first we have some utilities. So we have electric. Then we have gas and this is gas to heat our home and to cook. Then we have groceries. eating out, household. So for household, these are like items like toilet paper, paper towels, shampoo, conditioner, things like that. Then we have gas for our cars. We have my allowance. Jason's allowance. 
We have sinking funds, which will be going through tomorrow. So definitely check that out. And then I'm gonna put a space for unbudgeted because there's usually something there. We're not gonna budget anything for it, but from time to time we do have something that's unbudgeted. So for electric, I'm going to estimate that our electric bill will be $75 monthly. Now there's gonna be months where it's higher, there's gonna be months that are lower. Um, when I set up my, my utilities budget, or my like utilities tracker for 2024, you can see it here. Um, this is a really cool place where you can put all your utilities and then put how much it is per month. And I think what would be really useful, and I'm gonna do this when I'm setting up my 2025 budget, is to add up all of these and then like find an average. And that's what I'm gonna budget on a monthly basis and then just multiply it by 12. You could also just add them all up and set an annual amount, either way works. But that is something that I'm gonna do going forward in um, my 2025 budget. But for electric, I'm gonna estimate that it's gonna be $75 per month, which ends up being $900 for the year. And this is a annual budget, so they're gonna be pretty large numbers here. For gas, I'm gonna estimate that it's gonna be $50 per month, and that's gonna end up being $600 for the year. Groceries, I'm going to estimate $1,000 per month, and that's gonna be $12,000 for the year. Eating out, we always do $300 per month, so that's $3,600 for the year. Household, I'm going to estimate $200 per month, and that's going to be $2,400 for the year. Gas for our cars, we're gonna estimate $200 and again, $2,400. My allowance, I think in 2024, we're going to up our allowances. I feel like, especially during the summer and things like that, Jason tends to go golfing more. So I just, I feel like it would make more sense to bump these up. They've been pretty low um, and the same for years and years and years. So I think we're gonna do $200 per person going forward. So again, that's gonna be $2,400 for these two lines. The sinking funds amount is, it's hard to wrap your head around this amount, but we're gonna do it. Um, it is what it is. So for sinking funds, I'm estimating that we're gonna put away 21.75 per month. So that ends up being $26,000, 26,100. And then for unbudgeted, that's always zero. So that brings our variable expenses for the year to 52,000. $800. I will be going over my sinking funds um, with you guys tomorrow, but I just wanted to quickly mention like this is where the bulk of the extra stuff goes to. So like this is clothing. This is some of our utilities. This is vacations, Christmas, birthday parties, um, car maintenance, home maintenance, car tags, car insurance. A lot of those things are like more big ticket items and that's all included in sinking funds. So that's why that is a pretty large number. Uh, moving on to fixed expenses. We have our mortgage. We have internet. And the reason why these are fixed is because usually they do not change from month to month. So instead of having them in variable and like tracking what it actually is, I know that the amount that I'm putting here is what it's going to be. So internet, then we have um, Hulu Live. We have Netflix. Cell phones. my life insurance, the girls 529 plans, we have our ring doorbell, 
Mimi's preschool. My laser hair removal, which I have not done in a long time. And then I am doing Orange Theory, so we're gonna put in Orange Theory as well. Okay, so for our mortgage, our mortgage actually went up in, it's going to go up in 2024. Um, I think they said it's because our escrow was low. So I'm guessing a lot of that has to do with our home insurance going up. So um, now it's going to be, the amount that we're gonna be paying is 27.50, but that includes additional money towards our principal because I am really big into like trying to pay it off in half the amount of time that we are supposed to. And so in order to keep doing that, like we were paying $2,500 before, now we're gonna be doing 27.50. So that ends up being, $33,000 for 2024, for the year. 33. Internet is going to be $55 for um, the month, so that's going to be 660 for the year. Hulu Live is now 81.99, so it ends up being like a very odd number. Um, but let me, so that is going to be $983.88. Netflix is $19.99, so it's going to be $239.88. Cell phones are $80, so it's going to be $960 for the year. Life insurance is $42.55, so it ends up being $510.60 for the year. We do $400 per month for the girls, so that ends up being $4,800 for the year. This is for their 529 plans, which is college savings. Our ring doorbell is $3.99, so it ends up being $47.88 for the year. Preschool is $1,281.68, so that brings us to $15,380.16 for the year. My laser hair removal is $312.70 per month, so it ends up being $3,752.40. And I'm hoping by the end of this year, like I am like pretty much done going. And then Orange Theory is $189, so it ends up being $2,260. So that brings us to a total expense of $62,602.80. So life is expensive. I know there are definitely areas that we can cut if we need to. Um, this is kind of like a best case scenario type of situation, um, but I think it's going to be doable for us. And again, it's some of these items like our allowances, I definitely increased sinking funds. It's like the most that I think that we'll need for sinking funds. Um, so yeah, anyway, that is pretty much it for my 2024 budget. When I'm off camera, I will fill in our income and then I'll fill in what I think we'll potentially save. And again, definitely make sure to check out tomorrow's video where I will be setting up all of our sinking funds and kind of walk through why that amount is $26,000. Um, but that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see me walk through the schedules that I've already done and then also kind of talk through what we are doing for our 2024 budget. Um, again, definitely check out tomorrow's video. And if you haven't already, check out some of the other budget schedules in my 2024 playlist. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trash